I did deliver a hell of a lot of myself to everything I touched in that book, Airships, mm -hmm. and, and, and everything I've done pretty much. I mean, nothing has been a laboratory experiment. I, I don't even know what experiment means. It's just from the gut, and I, uh, I predicted my own life in airships. I mean, I, sadly, you become what you write, so I got mm -hmm. superstitious. I didn't write about, say, the death of a child or something like that uh, because in the next five or six years, everything I wrote is as if I almost had to become and I go through the misery to earn, you know, the book or something. It's a carrier, as you say, it's, you live right next to your characters and sometimes you enter them. And you live a lot of lives and... Uh, it was a, an age that was funny for me. I, I, I w wanted to be a hippie, but I had to work too hard. I couldn't be a hippie. I had a wife, children, and uh, so I, I was missing a lot, you know? I was missing a lot of life. A professor, that's a certain life, but I was missing a, a, a lot of, I got married too early, I was missing a lot of bachelorhood, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And recovering lost time. So I'm not excusing myself I, 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 and for, for entering my character, but it's you've got to watch out or you will predict your own misery. I love Beckett, but I, I know in no way did I ever want to live out the, the agony of his plays. And yet he gets it so he, so he is wonderful and deep when you understand suffering. I mean, and, and, and the small, tiny movements and the little vivid pen a pencil, paper, uh, a, a pebble, a bicycle, these t just a little few possessions and no progress at all and suffering. No, no, very static. And so I, you understand that Beckett is about that. He was a depressed man, uh, very modest, but uh, he wrote himself out of depression somewhat w with his work. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, his fame fell on him just very accidentally almost, and uh, I didn't know why I loved Beckett so much for a long time, and then I found out through living that the man, he knows what the hell life is. It's, we're not going anywhere. We're going, we're, we, we are crawling through the day, you know? And the rest of us pretend that life is a great adventure most of the time. And it's often a lie. It's 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 a tall tale. Uh, so he risked a lot because he didn't have a lot of big readership. No, you know, not for ages. And so I don't. I risk sometimes in my writing. I'm sure a popular reception, such as my student Bob Inman had, you know, because I I didn't write heartwarming things very much. Uh, Bob's good at heartwarming, good stuff. Sells a lot of books. Sells a lot of books. He's a good man too. Um, but it, he works TV and Bob can entertain. He knows an audience, mm -hmm. uh, a different from mine. I never had an audience, never had an audience. So I just wrote, you know, straight out. 